Hello and welcome back. Slightly different setting today because it's raining, so I thought I'd spend the day editing the video. Uh, in this episode, you'll see us, uh, the first half of it is assembling a Chinese-made wood chipper, goes on the back of your tractor, and then the last half of it is us uh, using it, testing it out. And as you'll see, it works really, really well. So stick around, and uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, um, pop them in the comments down below, and I'll try and get back to you, but uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all these tines on here. Um, the plan is to use the end ones, so this one and this one to put a ratchet strap over and we'll hook it up to the corners of here. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think it's meant to be lifted by this frame. It's meant to be um, forklift on and off, but I just don't have a forklift, so we're gonna have to do the best we can. It's steel, so I'm hoping it'll hold the weight. Uh, we'll film this and you'll see if it works or not. Just spent 10 minutes looking for a bunch of blots. Yeah, just getting His Highness unhappy and cold. All right, so we're going to have to call it quits. Um, it came in a thousand pieces. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Uh, the only problem is the it's got some bearings, and you can see there's grease dimples on it. So we'll need to go down and buy a grease gun. We've been meaning to buy one for a while, um, especially when we bought the tractor, the UE tractor and the excavator, because um, obviously they need to be greased. They did come pre-greased, which was a bonus, so we weren't in much of a rush. We we're gonna head over to one of the bigger towns in the next few weeks and get one. But this needs to be greased before we assemble it because the bearings are inside underneath all the covers. So we're gonna call it quits for today. We're gonna to head down to town before the shop shut and hopefully grab a grease, grease gun. I'd really fucking afford it. I'd really like to get an electric one and uh, some grease and then we'll come back uh, probably tomorrow and we'll assemble it and we'll put it on the tractor and hopefully everything works and you'll get to see us shred some trees and we'll give you a bit of an outro on how much it cost and our little, the good points and the bad points so stay tuned come here come on hey you going? hey oh let me grab that out what are you doing hey you go inside you gonna go inside the next day. One week later.
that cleared up really well. Um, very impressed. We managed to get a lot of privet and a couple other trees out of the way in about half an hour. So it's going to be handy to get rid of, you can see all this privet and trees in the back of our property. So I might take you for a quick walk now that I can get through to it, down to our back fence. It's not that far up here. It's uh, six acres, so it's a decent distance. So I'll take you for a walk down here. And this is our backyard. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's the, uh, we're up quite high. So once we clear the trees away, or maybe the scrub, you'll start to see a lot more. But these are, this is the privet here that we want to get rid of. Hey, Rockstar. Hey, come on. So yeah, one of the joys of owning a property is maintenance, uh, especially after we've had a lot of rain over the last couple of years. So um, probably should have bought one sooner, but the tractor with the shredder is fantastic. Alright, she's gonna go inside. Hey? Okay? Go inside. This is the chipper that we bought off eBay for close to $3,000 and that included delivery, that's 3000 Australian. Came here pretty quick, we got it in about three or four days from ordering it from Melbourne. And we're in the north of New South Wales, so it's about one and a half thousand k's away. Um, overall, not too bad, it went together pretty well. Uh, there were some things that were missing, these uh, top bolts up here for this uh, safety bar. It didn't have those, we had to go down and buy those. Um, it didn't have very good instructions on how to put it together, in fact it was pretty poor, it just said assemble. And um, you could tell it was written overseas because bolts were called blocks, with blots, B L O T S, which was quite funny, I thought. Um, so it took a bit of guesswork, as you'll see in the video, I hope. And um, yeah, everything went well. One of the things that uh, we had an issue with was this top link over here. This top link we had to buy. The one that came with the UE tractor was too short, so it's not a not a fault of either one. It was just a matching it up. Luckily, the supplier in town had this one in stock. Uh, we got that for like $39, which was quite cheap, but I'm still learning. So when I bought it home and tried to put the 19.5 mil pins through, they wouldn't fit. So we had to go down the next day and get the 19 mil pins. But other than that, it worked really well. Um, as, you're, as you've seen, it treads quite decent bits of wood. Um, the unit's rated for a 25 to 40 horsepower tractor, and ours is a 25. And it had no problems, just shredded it up really well. Nothing's broken, I've just gone over and checked, all the bolts are tight, everything's good, and um, yeah, goodbye. What do you think, sweetie? Love it. Love it, excellent. <laughs> if you've been around and stayed around long enough, thank you very much for watching, and um, we'll hope to see you next time. Bye.